Today we will be talking on the truth behind NASA cloud machine. But before we get into video make sure you are subscribed to our channel. According to Dr. Marshall Shepard, Director, Atmospheric Sciences Program slash Athletic Associate Distinguished Professor, Univ of Georgia, host, Weather Channel Sunday Talk Show, Weather, WX, Jeeks, 2013 AMS President. It seems that every few months an inaccurate science thing goes viral. For example, he wrote an article in Forbes last year debunking a ridiculous rumor that the entire month of November would be dark. This week he have noticed a video getting around social media claiming that NASA has a cloud generating machine at one of its space centers. Wow, this is news to me considering that he was a research meteorologist at NASA for 12 years and currently chair its Earth Science Advisory Committee he did a little research to find that similar videos and rumors have been around the internet for several years. Here is why he think it has resurfaced again and the actual science behind it. This is the image of NASA RS-25 engine test. There are many odd conspiracy theories propagated in social media that claim NASA, the federal government and others are manipulating the climate or controlling our minds using chemical trails or harp. If you google either of these, get ready for an interesting experience. My colleague Dennis Mercero wrote an excellent piece in the Washington Post debunking these things he was pretty sure he received some pretty interesting emails and tweets. He suspect the reason that this viral inaccuracy has resurfaced is because NASA tested its powerful RS-25 engine on February 21st at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The RS-25 engine powered the space shuttle and a similar version will be used for NASA's new space launch system. See image below. Stennis Space Center in Bay Street. Louis, Mississippi has been a long time test facility for such engines and is probably why these tests have generated fake news over the years. A NASA press release points out. Operators powered one of NASA's space launch system, SLS, engines up to 113% thrust level, the highest RS-25 power level yet achieved, during a test on February 21st at Stennis Space Center near Bay Street, Louis, Miss. The test lasted 260 seconds with power levels at 113% for 50 seconds of the test. This was the third full duration test conducted on the A1 test stand at Stennis this year. NASA has been using the stand since January 2015 to test RS-25 engines for use on its new SLS rocket. Four RS-25 engines will help power SLS at launch supplying a combined 2 million pounds of thrust and working in conjunction with a pair of solid rocket boosters to provide more than 8 million pounds of thrust. This image will show you some facts about NASA RS-25 engine. The exhaust from the RS-25 is primarily water vapor because the engine burns liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Oh, guess what happens when they combine? You get H2O, also known as water. Therefore, the clouds that you see in the pictures or videos are a byproduct of a very simple scientific process. See below. If the water vapor condenses, it actually may form drops large enough to fall as liquid, or what appears as rain. By the way, it is well known in meteorology that particulates and exhausts from smokestacks and power plants can seed the generation of clouds. There are also efforts to try to introduce ice forming materials into clouds to seed the formation of rainfall. To understand these processes, read my previous article here about rain. These methods have been proven to be inconclusive in some scientific studies, however, and the process is different from what you see in the videos that he was describing. This image is all about explaining the cloud. Oh, he should mention that NASA did conduct an interesting experiment in 2017 in which it generated clouds actually vapor trails in the mid-Atlantic region of the United States. This was a controlled experiment to study the ionosphere and aurora. According to the NASA press release, during the flight of a two-stage Terrier improved Malemute sounding rocket between 4.25 and 4.42 am, EDT, 10 canisters about the size of a soft drink can will be deployed in the air, 6 to 12 miles away from the 670 pound main payload. The canisters will deploy between 4 and 5.5 minutes after launch forming blue green and red artificial clouds. These clouds, or vapor traces, allow scientists on the ground to visually track particle motions in space. 
the development of the multi-canister ampoule ejection system will allow scientists to gather information over a much larger area than previously allowed when deploying the tracers just from the main payload. The vapor tracers are formed through the interaction of barium, strontium, and cupric oxide. Even though he wrote this article, he suspects the cloud generator machine viral stuff will continue every time they test the rocket engines. But at least now you know. Did you like this episode? Make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Okay bye see you next time.